Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Firstly, I'd like to say a big thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel. We have finally hit 100 subscribers uh, and I plan to uh, reach 150 by the end of July. So please consider liking this video and also hitting that subscribe button. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can play uh, sound in Unity using two methods. The first method is obviously using scriptable uh, language, which is C-sharp. And playing it through a script and the second is going to be a built-in function uh, by unity audio source so this is what the application looks like I can hit the first button and you see a nice sound plays there I can hit a second button and that plays a beep and I can just play whichever one I want so one of these buttons have uh, a script attached to it and the second one just plays directly from the Unity a built-in function. So that being said, let's get started. So what I have here is a blank or a new Unity project. Uh, and I'm going to just set up my UI quickly. I'm going to right click in my hierarchy, go down to UI, and I'm going to select a canvas. The next thing I'm going to do is go down to UI and I'm going to add in a text mesh pro text. I'll import that. And we don't need the extras. So I'll just align myself, myself correctly here. And the next thing we're going to need is a background so that we can have some sort of um, color instead of this uh, horizon here, right? So we can go right click on canvas, go all the way down to UI, we'll click image, we'll go to your rec transform, we'll hold down shift and alt, and we'll select the bottom right, which is going to stretch it across the screen. Then we can just rename this to BG, which is background, and we can just choose a color. So I like that color. And we're just going to put it above the text so that we can have the text visible. Then I'll move the text up. I'll select my uh, scaling tool or my multi tool, and then I'll just scale that up. And I just want to change the text to play sound. Then I need two buttons, okay? So I'll right click on canvas, I'll go down to UI, and I'll select button, which is the Text Mesh Pro. I'll scale that up a bit. I'll rename this button to button one. And I'm just going to duplicate that, and I'm gonna rename this to button two. I'm gonna bring button two a bit down, and I'm gonna rename the button text as well. So this is going to be button one, and this is going to be button two. Cool, so our UI looks set. The next thing we're going to do is add in a empty game object and this is going to act as our audio manager. We're going to rename this to audio manager. And I'm just going to reset the transform. Then I'm going to right click in my assets and create a new C sharp script. I'm going to rename this to audio manager. We'll drag this and drop it onto our empty game object. And I'll double click to open it up in Visual Studio. Okay, so we're going to work on the first part. I'm just going to get rid of this. The first part um, is to play the sound based on our script. So what we're going to need is an audio source. So we can just create a public audio source. And we'll call this audio source. Then we can just create a public void function. We can call this play sound. And we call this button one. Then all we need to say is audio source one dot play. And this is a function that will just play our sound, whatever is attached to this audio source. So we head over back to Unity, and obviously we need to attach a audio source to this audio manager. So we'll go in the inspector, we'll add component, and we'll add a audio source. The next thing it needs is a audio clip. So we can just uh, grab an audio clip, and I'll just import it to audio clips that I've already had. You guys can just download free ones off the net. Make sure that it is in a dot .wav format, otherwise this won't work. So we'll just drag our first sound in there. Make sure to turn play on awake off and we'll save our work. Then we need to get this button hooked up, right? So we'll head over to the button. We'll add a click event, drag our audio manager in. Well, our function is in the audio manager class and our function is called play sound button one. We'll just select that, save our work and um, I don't know what's wrong with my Unity at the moment, so I can't uh, play any sound in my editor. I have to build it out first uh, in order to show you guys. So I'll just do 
I'll just set both the buttons up first and then we'll test it out one time okay but you guys should be testing as you're going along so for the second button we're going to create a uh, another empty game object and we're just going to call this audio we're just going to say audio 2 we're going to add in our audio source to it we're going to add in our clip to that then we can head over back to our button we'll add in an on click event drag this audio 2 in there and the function is a built-in function by unity as you can see we'll go to audio source and the function is called play we'll save this here we'll head we'll do a one more build we'll create another folder and we'll call this test 2 now we can run this application and everything should work fine now so i can test button 1 and i can test button 2 and there you see it guys that's two ways on how you can actually play sound in unity and obviously there are many other ways you can play a sound uh, on collision you can play a sound when you um, use a raycast or when you hit something with a raycast there's so many different uh, scenarios that you can use sound um, you can use sound when you're firing, firing a bullet uh, in an explosion uh, but this is just to show you the basics and you can obviously build on this. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do consider subscribing and hitting that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one.